Good afternoon. So we appear to be back and we have a long last sunshine. We're immediately complaining that it's too hot, which was going to happen. So we have, oh, I'm about to get run over. Paul's <laughs> nodding at me. Hang on a minute. <laughs> You've probably got a bit too much of a close up. All right, there we go. Um, so yeah, flowers are out in bloom. We're at the very, very top of the Alentejo sort of. The north of the Alentejo, we are. Yeah, that is yeah. where we okay. are. Okay, and the landscape is completely different. It's beautiful. It's flat land, lots of trees. But what we've come to see is a property. So the property has a huge urban footprint. It's almost 4,000 square metres of urban land. And it has about 400 square metres of build. That's not all house. Paul can't turn around at the moment because the sun's going to get him. But behind him is a large field with numerous animal sheds. And we are going to... I just wanted to get the flowers in behind me because it was pretty. Um, but he will show you from the drone. And then we will... Well, we'll walk up the road here and go into the garden. OK? Hello, everyone. We have a property here that would be perfect for farmsteading. It has a huge urban footprint and a large parcel of land that would be perfect for agriculture. Alternatively, you could build another home here or even cabins for tourism. The large commercial building at the end of the plot was a mushroom farm but is now closed. It is not included in the property. We always have properties coming onto the market so please subscribe to the channel and like the video so that you do not miss out on the latest offerings and check out our social media channels. Just search for PP Property and you will find us. I would just like to mention that we now offer a buyer's agent service. We can find you any property anywhere in Portugal. Don't believe me? Email us with what it is you want in detail, be realistic, and we will find it for you. It costs nothing but your time. If you want the full explanation of how that works, click in the top right corner of the video. Or maybe you have a house to sell. YouTube combined with our social media presence sets us apart from other agencies. So if you'd like to know what that looks like, contact me now, paul.stubbs at expportugal.com. Likewise, if you want to boost your chances of selling your property, get in touch now. So let's get back to the tour. With all of the land and animal buildings, starting an off-grid property or low-impact lifestyle in the northern Alentejo would be pretty easy here. And while there is work to do a start, has been made, as you will see when we get into the main house. Or the rental, if you want to build yourself a new home. The possibilities are extensive with this property, so do watch the video throughout if this is the type of lifestyle that appeals to you. So here we have, this is the furthest side of the property. The white wall there is the boundary. And then as you come in, you can see the fence obviously right in front of us. All those buildings at the back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven openings. They're all animal sheds, plus the one to the right of that. And then this field in front, the paddock, I guess, is really quite flat. Obviously, it's fertile land. Then we have this selection of olive, um, not olive, orange and lemon tree. I mean, the blossom, the smell there is absolutely gorgeous at the moment. Obviously, all of this has been helped by the rain that we've been complaining about and the reason we've not been videoing, but everything is absolutely lush now. The countryside here, you've got a neighbour there, there's some sort of building up there, but it's incredibly quiet. Cool cokes opposite you. Really yeah, I'm just going to do a little lovely. sort of pan of yeah, those cool, those those cool, cool cokes. Yeah. Recently harvested. Uh, yeah. Well, cool 2001, cakes. wouldn't it? Yeah. No, sorry, 2021. Yeah. They didn't take much off, did they? No, well, they're quite young trees, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, OK. So, as Paul pans round, right here is where your water connection and your electricity connection is going in. The lady who owns the property has started renovation work on it. There is some insulation has gone in, some... Um, You'll see the electrical wiring, not yeah, the wiring, but the Yeah, chasing in and the uh, cable. The boundary, do you want to just go to the right of the house and just show? The boundary is just to the right of the property there. There's about half a metre of concrete 
floor behind the property. Yeah. Yep, just there. And then you come back to me. As usual, cars are in the way. So, this is just courtyard area. Although on three levels, we've got flat land. And the trees are giving off, as I said, that amazing smell. Yeah, I mean, on the drive here, there was a lot of agriculture, wasn't there? Yeah, every, the area, the whole area, don't trip over there. Yeah, it's clearly, clearly very fertile yeah. land, you know. And very different temperature as well, because the lemons are just getting ripe. Yeah. Whereas at home, they're, they're, they're done, nearly. Yeah. That's quite interesting, don't know what that means. I mean, the clementines, it means... lemons, oranges. Lovely. And then it drops down again. Are we going to go down there? Yeah. I did go it... that before, didn't I? Here we are. Where's the, where's... I found a semi path. Ooh. Oh, of course, getting attacked by a lemon. <laughs> the camera just got attacked by a lemon. <laughs> now. You okay? Yeah. So there's a slope there, and then this is more or less flat. And now I don't know that we need to show you inside every animal shed because basically once you've seen one you've seen them all except this was probably rabbits I'm guessing yeah. by the hutches yeah no, that, give that away. would have definitely been rabbits and then who knows what could be anything we've got that's the largest one they're all very very similar I mean this is probably pig They've all got water troughs and feeding troughs in them. These would have probably been for individual animals and then there's a long one at the back. Yeah, like a run. Yeah, that's, that was obviously for the crocodile. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, you want to see them all? Who wants to see them all? It's well, a, uh, one animal was allowed a window. I, I just guarantee you that if I put a video up without showing it all, Somebody will want to know what was in the last one. Yeah, every time. Okay, let's find out. So, this is it, folks. It's we very have, good uh, height. Yeah. Very good height. Oh. Oh, I've got absolutely no. So, light this is there. obviously for a number of horses. This is your cows. I'm gonna, um, I haven't been in here. Oh. Lots of crates. It's just a big room, like the others. <coughs> In fact, it interlinks through to that one. They seem to be crates, don't they? Yeah, they were fruit crates. Uh, so maybe, maybe this was part of a bigger plot at one point, lower agriculture. Don't I'm know. a little bit um, confused about where 4,000 square metres is. be right on that. I don't know whether... Yeah, there's no question that I'm right on that. And uh, But I I thought the, the lady that was showing us said that the land on the other side of the house belonged. Well, we'll go and clarify. Yeah. But, I mean, realistically, if you look at this area where we've got the animal sheds, where we've just walked up on the other side of the fence, I mean, this is at least 2,000. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> well, we could do this for a long time. Oh, we could. Yeah, but, <laughs> without measuring it. But I mean, I mean, I mean, it's between a thousand and two. He's delusional. Doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, that could be me. Come along. <laughs> so now we're going up to the area by the main house. Now the boundary is definitely behind you, Paul. I mean, the smell of this blossom is fabulous, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice, really nice. It's, it's really, really, really nice. This is a really nice flat. I mean, if you wanted a pool, for example, yeah, perfect spot for it. Flat, surrounded by oranges, the leaves don't really go everywhere. Perfect, it smells nice. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Um, we have the barbecue area that Paul's just shown you. And then we start coming into this cupboard or two-thirds covered courtyard. 
Yeah. This kind of this piece of the clothing hanging off there. I mean, it's kind of a courtyard at the moment, but I think this is where Sarah and I were arguing earlier. I actually think you should enclose. It would be beautiful, amazing. Yeah. Glass front it. Yeah. It would and be just stunning. turn it all into habitation. But because um, it's got the footprint, it's got the urban art, you know. Yeah, no, no, it would be a really nice big house. You and can do that and more. And the single stories, it's probably not been more, not really much more bigger than 200 square metres. At the moment, we have, so obviously this is the old kitchen because you've got the fireplace in there. They obviously had an excess of the green tiles. I mean, green is my favourite colour and I like the tiles, but they're in every bathroom. They're every, they, they are, I think they were on offer somewhere, weren't they? Yeah. Oh, look, here we go. So, but this was definitely, look, I mean, you've got a breakfast bar. I mean, I say definitely, but what do I know, really? And we've got two rooms here that are interlinked. That, I would say, are being used as the kitchen and the dining area. Definitely being used as the kitchen, there's the hall. Yeah, there's no question whatsoever. For the moment, in a temporary measure. Yeah. And then as you come through here, there are two, do you want to go first? There are two rooms which would be ensuite bedrooms. Yeah. Now, the first one that we're in right now, if Paul goes into the bathroom, I have actually checked from both sides, because this one could easily be made into a double. Yeah. If it's got a shower and, the, uh, uh, and everything's around. installed, isn't it? You've got enough green now, right. If you, <laughs> think, if you come to the side of the wash basin here yeah. and you actually move this wall back, it works in the other room as well. Yeah. Then that's a double. Yeah. Okay, it, I've already checked, it does work both ways. Yeah, bit of a fast, but yeah. Well, the building, what isn't? Uh, this is a double anyway. Oh, it's a big lizard. Yeah, a gecko, I saw him earlier. When I was... How do you know it's the same one? Did you name him? Get yeah, friendly? Yeah, we're mates. No, I don't tread on him then. Right, come on. So, and here we have a green bathroom. See, it would work. You just go to the same side and just give that room that bit extra and it makes it a double. Blinded. Blinded by the No, line. please don't sing. <laughs> sure, she'll be nice upset. Yeah, embarrassing the rest of my family with my singing. It's yeah. one of my favourite hobbies. Usually in the supermarket. So, from here, so we have a kitchen, dining room, two ensuite bedrooms, plus an enormous. Maybe you should turn around and just take a. No, you don't have to go that far. You need to come right here. Oh, I do. That's There's a sure. huge space up there. Yeah. Which could be utilised. Yeah, to some degree. Or just opened up to the. Yeah. Get rid of the false roof. So here we're coming into what is. The house is one, oh, we're coming in through the wrong place, but okay, I think this, we've got a room. Let's call it a study, a snug, or a bedroom. Yeah. And we go in here, and as you will see, as we keep going through, the walls have all been cut out, the new pipes have been put, oh, the wires are in, actually. See, that goes in there. Yeah, the wires are in, they're just not connected. This is yeah. the bathroom. Now, this one's been completely ripped out. Yeah, I had a bath by the look of it, didn't it? Sorry? It actually had a bath tub, that one, by the look of it. Yeah, there's an electric up there for a light. Yeah, it's all been conduit, chased and uh, conduit. Um, conduit, it? that's the word, not plastic tube. It's <laughs> well, everywhere. It is plastic, it is plastic right. tube. And so other notes on what does what. And then we come into what was, I think, clearly planned to be the kitchen. Well, it was originally a kitchen, wasn't it? Yeah, but look at the wiring now. Yeah. It's planned to be a kitchen, isn't it? There's yeah, yeah, there. totally. Yeah, 100% okay. meant to be a kitchen. They've kept the fireplace, or they've put electrics in the fireplace. Maybe that's so you can light up something, like a feature of it, the electrics everywhere else. I think this door is probably been left open, this would be your dining room. That would make sense. Makes yeah. sense, doesn't it? Yeah. And then we have three rooms here which are bedrooms. This is your master on suite. Yeah, so I mean, it has been rewired right the way through, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's quite, um, and here, see, the insulation all on this, I guess, I, with... It's <laughs> not every wall. I guess wall. that's south, because all of these yeah. walls have been insulated. Yeah, 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 it's south. Yeah. Okay, so here's insulated, and then there's the bathroom, which someone had a bit of an accident with the toilet in here. 
Um, yeah, possibly well, somebody, when ripping out the bar. Yeah, maybe. they just they drop something on it. <laughs> That's the trouble. Okay. I mean, the ceilings in some of the places do need a bit of attention. In this main house, it's really high ceilings. Okay, look, that's for the um, air conditioning. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. And then as we come in here, there's sockets, plenty of sockets. So it's all classic, no matter how many sockets you put in, it's never, never enough. enough. Or they're in the wrong place. Yeah. However well you planned it. We managed to do both. So here you can see that's your double bed. Okay, so one double room, nice views. Yeah. Insulated wall. And actually I'm guessing... I think there's insulation behind been. there as yeah. well. Yeah, it's insulated. It's insulated yeah. and plasterboard and they just haven't done yeah. the plasterboarding on that part. Yeah, the back end hasn't been done, no. but um, quite a lot of the walls have had insulation. Put oh, in. look. They, they've got a better coordinated... That makes sense to them. Look, the kitchen. Ah, right, okay. That's what all of the sliders are. Yeah. Right, so this room's identical to the other. Again, you've got a nice view. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're right. It's all the, the, the insulations behind the plasterboard. So, I think the story behind this is that the lady has bought it, and um, I'm actually here with her mother. She bought it, she's got this far, she just hasn't got time to keep going with it. So oh, she's selling it on. It is a really lovely, peaceful location. It is. And I'm not going to do any guess. No, I am. I'm guessing we're about 15 minutes from Chamuska. Possibly pronounced this correctly. Yeah, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, yeah. And Paul will do it on the map because yeah. we're in an area that we don't know that well. But the countryside's beautiful. Rolling hills, lovely. Yeah, yeah. So, in, where do you want to go somewhere else for some mile? Or should we just... Still well, be, before we plant. do a summary, I think we actually um, will cut up right now and go and ask the lady to clarify. Oh, the boundary. The boundary. Okay, I'll do. So Paul is very happy for me to report that I was wrong, <laughs> and he is right, <laughs> and it is all the land at the back. So this is where the rest of the land comes from. Oh, the flowers are so lovely, and you know what? In a month they'll be gone. So all of this, so it's huge, so you can have a horse here. It's perfect. There's so many clients asking for properties. Yeah, we, seeing as we're not really that far from Golgar, are we? Oh They're no, not, we're, well, I, can't, I can't pronounce it, but it was where they have the huge horse festival. Yeah, a very famous horse festival yeah, in Portugal. Which I yeah. still haven't been to. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so all of this field here, so it goes right. up to that warehouse, which of course I'm going to have to actually ask what it is. It looks and, like a lagar, doesn't it? But, I'm, but we're going to have to ask because yeah. we're going to get asked. Nothing happening there at the moment, I can no. tell you that now. And then the boundary conforms with the back of the property there. So it basically goes along the, the telegraph poles and the pine tree. Yeah. So this is actually a really nice big field. It is, isn't it? So if you want a small holding... You, this would you, do it. Perfect. The only thing is it, it's, it's, it's got mains water and it's got mains electric. It doesn't have its own supply. Yeah, it doesn't have its own water but supply. But if that was very important to you, you can drill it. You just have to add it into your budget. Yeah. Um, and I think especially, am I in a good place to summarise? As um, good as any. Yeah, okay. Not really, but... Yeah, I mean, it's not ideal with it. Hang on, should I go into flowers? Yeah, go well, on. Well, I get a it. chance to stand in flowers. in flowers. Let's end in flowers. Should I have... Oh, only I can't see anything now. So, um, right, so here we have it. Glad to be back. Uh, the price is excellent, I think, for what you're getting. The square meterage, the fact that you've got a four just under 4,000 square metres of urban footprint. If you wanted to build a second property, you could. Yeah. You could... Yeah, you could you build another house it. on this plot. You could plot, build another house you? on this place. Yeah. Um, you might not be able to divide them into separate Artigos, but you'd have a property with two houses, yeah. um, or small holding, horse, whatever you, whatever you need. There is work to be done in the house, obviously, but it has been started. It looks absolutely solid enough the roof would need some attention, but I think it's a really nice, the location is absolutely beautiful. So, nice to be back. Thank you for watching. Oh, please do like and subscribe.